What's up guys? Here we are again. I'm sorry. I, I say that I wasn't gonna say what's up guy or hello or okay Jose or anything like that. People like when I say hello guys. So hello guys. Uh, I'm going to work now the problem that I told you about how to find the moment of inertia by integrals of a triangle with respect to the base. And then I'm going to show you, because the last video was a mess, was finding the moment of inertia of the triangle, which look extremely easy, but it, it, it become a lot of work to do it. So I'm going to show you an easier way to do that by applying the parallaxis theorem. So let's go and let's start doing this problem. Now, our problem, fully charged again. Good. Now, the the problem that we're going to do is the same triangle that I worked before, but now the selection of the axis is just with respect to the base. I don't care about this one. I'm not working with Y. I'm just showing X. If you want to work with Y, you can work with Y, but they're going to be the same. So this is B and this is H, and find the moment of inertia with respect to the base or X axis same procedure this is y and this is my differential of area equation i sub x equal integral of y square dA every time that we do this is the same procedure there's nothing the only complication is finding that dA that's what usually is not straightforward but in this case it is straightforward if we apply the same reasoning that we did before, this VA is going to be this total distance minus this small distance here. And this small distance is x because every point or any point has coordinates x, y. The only difference between this and the other is that it's easier to figure it out what are those coordinates. What is the equation of this straight line? The equation of this straight line is y equal mx plus b, where b is the y-intercept. Do not confuse this b with that b the y-intercept. The y-intercept for this equation is zero, so that means this is zero, and the slope is rise over run, h divided by b, so y equal h divided by b x. My distance that I say my differential of area here, my differential of area, I'm gonna say that is that distance from here to here that I call a small a multiplied by this thickness, which is dy, and once again, I have to find that distance A. How do I find that distance A? Well, that distance A is going to be this total distance, which is B, minus the variable distance X. So it's going to be B minus X multiplied by dy. How do I find that X is already found? Is this. So X equal B over H multiplied by Y. I plug this into here and my dA is going to be equal to B minus X, so B minus B over H X, I'm sorry, Y, multiplied by the Y. That's it. Now I plug this into here, and my I X is going to be equal to Y squared multiplied by this, which is B minus B over H y dy and if I solve this integral is b b integral of y squared dy minus this is constant b over h integral of y to the third dy and this is equal to b this is y squared 2 plus 1 3 divided by 3 b y to the third divided by 3 minus b over h is constant and this is y to the third, 3 plus 1, 4 divided by 4, y to the fourth divided by 4, and the whole thing has to be evaluated between. Remember what we do. We have this differential of area, and we're sweeping the whole section from here to there. Well, here is really easy because now this point is 0, and here the height is h from 0 to h. So my i sub x is going to be equal to b h q divided by 3 minus b this is going to be h cube but h cube with h is going to be at the top only h cube so h cube h to the 4 with h cancel out h cube in the top 
divided by 4 and this is B H Q divided by 12. Now do not get confused with this value because if you remember once again in my mess somewhere we did before the moment of inertia of a rectangle with respect to the centroid and the moment of inertia of a rectangle with respect to the centroid is BHQ divided by 12 however this is the moment of inertia of the triangle but not with respect to the centroid with respect to the base this is easy compared with the other one that we did now if I want to calculate the same moment of inertia of the triangle with respect to the centroid and I know this one it becomes extremely easier than what we did before because now we're going to apply the parallel axis theorem. I have this and I have this x and y if you want to and I have moment of inertia with respect to x we just calculated is b h cubed divided by 12 and this is b and this is h but I need the moment of inertia with respect to the centroid and this is my centroid now I'm going to use the sub-index uh, x0 and y0 what is the parallel axis theorem? the parallel axis theorem says that ix is equal to i sub 0 plus a times a distance in y squared or if you are working in, in y, which I'm not doing it will be this i sub 0 x should be this one in y should be i sub 0 y plus area times a distance in x squared I'm solving for this one. My distance in y is the distance that separates both axes, meaning my centroidal axis and my x axis. This is my distance in y. If I want to calculate x, that will be my distance in x. But I'm not doing that. What is this distance? Well, this distance is location of the centroid. We know the location of the centroid. The centroid of the triangle is located one third, in this case of the h, with respect to the a right angle, one third of h, so that's the distance h. The only thing that I have to do is solve for i sub 0 x, i sub 0 x pass all of these to the other side, is i sub x minus a times dy squared, and i sub 0 x will be i sub x, moment of inertia with respect, I'm sorry my picture is here, bhq divided by 12 so bhq divided by 12 minus area what is the area of the triangle bh divided by 2 multiplied by dy squared what is dy squared well dy is one third of h so one third of h squared also so for this i sub 0 x equal bhq divided by 12 minus this is bh squared plus h is h cubed b h cubed divided by this is 3 squared is 9 9 times 2 18 and then if I solve for this common factor 36 36 divided by 2 3 3 36 divided by 18 2 3 minus 2 2 b h cubed divided by 36 i sub 0 x equal b h cubed divided by 36 and that's if I'm not mistaken and I really hope yes it is the problem that we just solved before in the previous video when we filled three four five pages of documents and formulations and every calculation possible and impossible in order to get it look how we got it now be smart guys when you solve a problem if you are asked to calculate the moment of inertia with respect to the centroid sometimes it's easier if you have the other one just converted by applying parallax theorem or vice versa enjoy guys see you next record